Welcome to this video abstract on Curing Breast Paradox by Secondary Control on Power Grids by the authors depicted below. My name is Benjamin Schaefer and I will motivate and explain some of our main findings. During the ongoing energy transition, additional renewable generators, mostly in the form of wind and solar power plants, are being integrated into the existing power grid. This gives rise to several challenges. First, the grid requires a suitable control to ensure stable operation and to prevent blackouts. Therefore, we investigated the dynamical properties of one specific type of controller and its influence on the stability in this paper. In addition to sophisticated control, extensions of the existing transmission grid become necessary to deliver the power of these newly built generators to consumer sites. However, not all grid extensions have only positive effects. Let us consider a small network, for example a street network, or to transport goods, or a power grid. Adding a new line to this network is intuitively expected to improve its performance by allowing additional flow within the network. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Instead, the performance might decrease with an additional line. This could result in traffic jams, delay in the transfer of goods, or blackouts, depending on the type of the network. This phenomenon is known as breast paradox, and we wanted to know whether it can be avoided in power grids by controlling the grid appropriately. To answer this question, we formulated a simple mathematical model describing the power grid dynamics, performed analytical stability analysis and random numerical simulations. First, we investigated the linear stability of the uncontrolled system. For certain parameters of the network, it becomes unstable, so that to distinguish a stable and an unstable region. When adding secondary control, the stable region grows, so that overall the stability is improved. Next, we tracked how the state of the system changes when slowly adding additional transmission capacity to the network. At a critical added capacity, the fixed point of the system vanishes and becomes unstable. In the real world, we would encounter a blackout. Contrary, adding control guarantees a stable operation for any line extensions. The control effectively redistributes the power within the grid. In this example, the network would overload without control. The added control reduces the amount of consumed power by some nodes and increases the consumed power in other parts of the network, thereby shifting the flow away from the critically loaded lines. However, in current grids, mostly generators are controlled, while consumers are free to consume as they please. We found that control in consumer nodes is necessary to guarantee the aforementioned positive effects of control, including curing breast paradox. Thank you for watching this video abstract and enjoy reading the article.